and welcome to Rock Bottom. Welcome to Rock Bottom. This is infamous. And we're right off the bat, just going. Jesus Christ. This is, uh, it's been a while since I played this. Welcome to the apocalypse. Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> I, I had to, uh, I had to explain what, what the plot of infamous was to, uh, to, to my girlfriend the other day. Um, <laughs> I don't remember. I mean, well, I, I, I remember what the plot is, but I don't remember this particular cutscene. <laughs> uh, I don't either. Welcome to flying bus. No, but it, it definitely, I mean, it, of course it has to start off with like, like the explosion that gives oh, yeah, everybody yeah. their powers and shit. So Cole, he is in the middle of a goddamn explosion. That's Cole. He does not look good, right? Okay, so would you feel bad if you woke up like this? Would you feel guilty if you woke up like this? Uh, maybe, I don't know. I, I think I would first and foremost be very confused. I, I, I feel like I would all also be a little... Uh, okay, tutorial. Yeah, sure, why not? All oh, right, we're being guided in the beginning here. No, this is... That's not actually the worst thing in the world. Oh my goodness. So... Jesus. He is uh, surprisingly uh, spry and about. No, not... It's just no. Yeah, no. 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 Why would you have inverted? No. Inverted, like horizontal camera controls. Why would you have that? No. So this game is is pretty cool, and it's it's actually kind of significant because we live in a world where, um, where media is is completely almost taken over by by like comic book char. Would you would you would you agree with me on that? Uh, mm, I guess maybe. Like there are a million. Uh, whoa! Did you see that? Yeah. Oh, cool. So yeah, we're electric. Now he wasn't before. What the hell? No. So uh, so Infamous did something that was that was kind of significant in that it instead of adapting a, an existing property, it it just like it it made its own. Comic book style, uh, comic book style character and universe, just for video games. That's pretty cool. I like that. Oh shit. Yes, and we died oh, in we died. the tutorial. Yeah. Okay. Am I supposed to? What am I supposed to do? I think you just does like get straight. Yeah. Man. Didn't look very possible though. Uh, ah. To the right. There. Ah, there we go. Yeah. I'm being jumbled around by these cars. This is very like just. Okay, 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 okay. I get you. This is very right off the bat. So, one thing there, there is about this game is that it's very, like, sticky. Yeah, it, it, it look it's it's both sticky and floaty at the same time. Kinda, but it's but it's not that bad once you get used to it. Like, the, the whole... It's the universe that's, that's, that's kind of interesting and, like, the powers are very... Um, it's very open and free what you can actually do. And, uh, and, and I really like that. Oh yeah, totally. And and the um, like, from uh, like, game design wise, this game is brilliantly designed in that you have to always be aware of your surroundings, because your surround oh, yeah, totally. your surroundings totally play into how you fight, uh, how you heal, how you do anything really. So that's that's uh, that's fucking awesome. I like that. Definitely. Oh my goodness. So yeah. Cole, he didn't. Oh my goodness! Already, he didn't become damaged from um, from the uh, explosion. He gained like lightning power. He's become what is known as a conduit, and he's already calling down lightning. That is like an ability you you only get like much later on. I'm super electrified already. Yeah, shit, shit starts off going pretty nuts. Oh, can I? Can I drain already? Cool. Yeah, so this is taking a pretty big toll on him, I guess. Oh, most definitely. Yeah. Most definitely. Definitely didn't look nice. I I only played through the first Infamous once, and then I played 2 a lot more because I feel like 2 is a little bit more, more polished. 
Oh yeah, and, uh, definitely. And like, I always liked the uh, the thing where where you were already established. Oh, the cutscenes are really cool in this. Oh yeah, totally. The comic book style cutscenes. Yeah, exactly. I like. I just like Cole as a character as well. He's he's kind of. I mean, he has this he has this sort of broody thing, uh, but he he's he's also got a great sense of humor. Yeah. So and, and of course he changes compared. Um, consider. Uh, <laughs> he changes um, depending on your your alignment because it has this really cool. Uh, it has this really cool uh, karma system. It's called. Where your your power and your and your um, your appearance and people's reaction to you changes when you do bad things or good things. It's cool. I like that you get the choice. Yeah. It's it's kind of bullshit that it's always e either either or. Yeah, it's very much either or. It's very it's binary. It's a very binary system, but it's cool in that. Like and in but like. For other like morality systems or like variable um, conversation systems, it's always, or sometimes it's really it's really obvious what the choice is that you that you had to uh, that you have to do to, to follow your alignment. It's it's not always obvious in this game. In uh, I, I mean the outcome of your choice. Oh yeah. Like you can do good things for good reasons, but sometimes it's just gonna pan out bad for you. So. <laughs> All right, so um, we're living in a, like a little post-apocalyptic city here because it's um, because uh, yeah. So as as you saw in the um, in the cutscene, they closed off like a whole part of the city after the blast because that's what reasonable governments do. And some sort of plague happened and stuff, so. The whole the whole area of the city is kind of in the quarantine. Yeah. Yeah. Woohoo! So it's it's kind of like a third person shooter. It's very much a third person shooter, but it's but it's very well hidden in like this whole three uh, D action platformer thing. Yeah. So I really like that. Also, the um, what's really cool is is this. Oh yeah, that, that, that your environment. Yeah, you have to actually be aware of of your of your environment and what what conducts electricity and what doesn't and stuff like that, because if an enemy hides behind like a grid like this, it will always conduct the electricity. So Jesus Christ, it'll always conduct so that so that they won't get hit by your by your electricity. But in the, in the other, uh, on the other pole. It's uh, is that if they're standing in, like a puddle of water, you can just fry the water. Yeah. It's really cool. So something about a virus. Is there a subtitle thing? They're on. Subtitles are on. Okay. So do we? Do we just focus on that guy? Yeah, I guess we just listen. Uh, Early game. Early game. Action. Training wheels. Training wheels. Drop food. Man, you must there be out of your mind. You think any of those pencil necks gives a crap about us? This is a PR stunt. This guy is like super red. Very. Like rolls pouches. <laughs> you take the stairs. I'm using the express elevator. <laughs> Yeah, you get to be a superhuman. No, I can't drop. Aww. That's right. Oh, look at all these people. That looks awful. That was a fast ass elevator. Wish I could do something like that. Or stairs. Who knows? That sucks donkey balls. Donkey balls. Okay. Okay. Just everyday, everyday things. I need to go get a new gun. Yeah. Yeah, I, I like that though. Cole, he can't, um, he can't come into contact with like sensitive things. Like he can't sit in a car and he can't 
like take a bath and shit like that because the electricity in his body will just fry him or fry whatever that's he's in contact with like cars explode gunpowder explodes can i not heal this person yet no i like um i like being good and then uh, healing people and stuff like that yeah, uh, my my first playthroughs in, in games were the morality system of any sort. Usually, I, I tend to go for the, the good playthrough. Yeah. yeah, me too. Definitely. So, uh, what, are, what are we going to do for, for this one? Definitely good. Definitely good? Definitely good. All right. I won't be evil just for, this, just for the fun of it. I, I, only, I only ever do evil afterwards so that I have, so that I have access to all the powers and, 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 and I can just... Yeah. Fuck around and have fun. Or, or like, the big explody powers for, for like, late game shit. Oh, yeah, totally. Yeah. Clean up. Yep. Whatever. It's fun anyway, but I, I like the precision in the um, in the good powers. And yeah, like, me, as, me as well. And, and they always give, like, the, the return on your abilities. That's really cool. That, that'll always be worth more than big explody powers to me. Oh, like, yeah. Like, that you can you can restore your health and your, uh, and, and, and your electricity by actually shooting people. Definitely. That's really cool. And like the sticky rockets and, and like oh, the, gu yeah, the guide, sticky rockets. guided missiles and shit like that. Yeah, that shit's fun. Stand back. I got an idea. The only thing is that in um in Uncharted uh, Uncharted, in Infamous 2. <laughs> it's an entirely different thing. In, in in Infamous 2, I I always kind of felt like that you're damn there was this surge. Like the, that um, yes, I got to train this. I know. That your extra power, you, you gain like the uh, the fire or the ice power. Okay, seek. Are you okay there? <laughs> the fire or the ice power depends on your on your alignment. Yeah, I kind of don't like that. Yeah, no. I I kind of would have wanted it to be like that. You could have good fire powers and, and, and evil fire powers, or good ice powers and evil ice powers, because you could do some really fucked up shit with ice, for example. Oh yeah. Or you could do some really cool like, um, like support shit with with fire and stuff. But no, it's just they just follow like your, your basic rules. Like some of, some of the powers are also really lackluster. Yeah. Like the uh, like the ice shockwave, where it's just oh, there's ice shards in it now. So instead of being like, there's this gravity thing where when you shockwave, it just it leaves people floating, or it concentrates the shockwave. Whether you're that's. The good one is is uh, is gravity, so you can just pick people out of the air, and, and the evil one is is the concentrated one, so you just fly. Like then there's ice, and it's just oh, okay. So then now there's icicles in the shockwave, and doesn't do anything cool. Besides that, fuck that. Yeah, I don't like that. No. The missiles That's are cool. The yeah. Missiles are cool though. Those are fucking awesome. But enough uh, enough talking about about Infamous Two. We're not <laughs> playing Infamous Two. We're walking down the street here. And didn't we? Running after a uh, overweight redneck squat. friend. It's a squat redneck friend. Oh, we're we're getting to uh, to the first choice in a second here, and we are definitely. This is where you you sort of decide your. Oh my goodness! This is where you sort of decide the path that you're uh, you're going down. Because the big choice always awards you the most morality points. There, there are, I like that that small things you do will all also affect your uh, your morality. Oh yeah, like, like little things, like whether you restrain stuff or or if you uh, if you restrain enemies or if you uh, or if you uh, drain them or or heal people or just oh yeah, fucking totally. uh, I think like we that. have to climb up there. Really? Uh, uh, I hate climbing. <laughs> it's the wrong fucking game then. Yeah, I was just about to say so. If you don't like climbing. Don't pay infamous. No, really. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, about the the whole floaty, sticky stuff. Yeah. This is where that really comes into play. Yeah, it's it's not that bad when when it's when it's definitely climbing you want to do. It's it's worse when it's uh. It's worse when when it's like, uh, combat. Yeah. And then you stick to shit. That's. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Hmm. Red lamps blinking. So here comes the morality, I think. Isn't it? The reapers. Or reapers. Oh my goodness. Before the blast, they were just a bunch of junkies dealing drugs. Now they own the neon district. It's a 
pretty cool look though. Yeah. Taking whatever they want. That changes today. All right. So we have to actually. Sunda uh, <laughs> Turapu. Boom. Yeah. Screw you, asshole. So here. Okay. So we got. Fuck you, Hello. Doug. Combat first. Oh yeah. Now I remember. One. The, the, the choice. Yeah. Oh, I killed him. See that? I I like that though. That whatever your morality is, you're. It's never like. You're, you don't you don't become less good if you kill your enemies, because this is just a, like a dog eat dog world. Yeah. So it's 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 not that that decides your um, your morality. It's it's definitely more in in like not it's not it's not the killing people. It's it's whether you it's it's more cold blooded like yeah. stuff that that'll, that'll make you evil. Like killing people in combat is not considered evil, but. Like, if I go up to him and fucking drain his life force to sustain my own, that's fucking evil as shit, dude. <laughs> it's chow time. <laughs> Goddamn, Seek is awesome. Here it is. Here comes the morality system. Huh. So he has this sort of introspective moment. Yeah, so, so I'm, I'm just uh, gonna I'm just gonna let him take it, and uh, and we'll we'll see what happens next time on Rock Bottom. Yeah, yeah.